Hello, gentle viewers. This is of Indian, welcoming you to a brand new episode of Front Office Football 8. We are in a bit of a pickle this year because we're running out of places where we can make obvious improvements without sacrificing things elsewhere. Our primary job for this year is to build a new playbook for Baker Mayfield that helps us address his two main weaknesses. Difficulty reading a defense and finding that perfect moment to hit the player running downfield. I consider timing to be a less important issue for us because as you can see, yardage is not an issue for, for us, partly because we actually throw a lot. Um, improving our running game would also be a big help to Baker Mayfield, in my opinion. So there's a couple ways we can do that. We can change our offensive scheme to something that favors easier to read passing, i.e. the West Coast offense. The West Coast offense, popularized by Bill Walsh, um, basically involves a strong running game and lots of short passes that give the receivers some room to run. The problem with this particular scenario is Baker Mayfield is not a great quarterback for this type of offense. Um, if we look at the... Uh, we actually can't see what he's good at. That's confusing. Uh, he's a long passer. So that creates issues for us. And to be frank, I don't know of an easy way to solve this situation. But we need to think, A, is it time to move on from the current offense? Right now we have Neil Stone with his balanced offense. And I don't think we can deal with balance. I think we need something a little bit more unbalanced. Now all of our coaches, wait, there's no one we need to renegotiate with. So we can just skip that part right now. Staff draft. I don't want a new head coach. I'm pretty happy with the head coach we've got now, aren't I? We'll do this as fast. And we still love our head coach, so we can skip this pick. And as long as nobody steals him, we'll be good to go. Okay, here's where we change to a new offensive coordinator. As much as I like Neil Stone, I think we have to go with something new. And so this gives us, there are two thoughts. One, we go West Coast. Two, we go spread. Either we abandon any semblance of a quality offense, uh, excuse me, of a running game, or we focus more heavily on the running game. And I think we're going to try the spread offense. We're going to grab Ken Wisenhunt, the best spread coach available. We are taking a bit of a downgrade to the actual offensive coordinator in exchange for a superior um, play style. So we're going to go ahead and grab Ken Wisenhunt. Which is probably going to mean that someone else is going to grab Neil Stone. Nobody took Neil Stone. Interesting. I'm going to try to grab him as an offensive assistant if no one else takes him. Oh, sorry, I got to skip my pick. Did somebody else grab Neil Stone or. Oh, yeah, Denver did. No, oh, that was smart of Denver. This is fine. I'm not going to change my assistant coach because there's not anyone else that's really better. We're, we're great at offensive line. We're fantastic. 
we could use an improvement in defense, but I think we'll skip this pick for now. And we'll keep him and proceed. Close window. Okay. Free agency time. Is there anyone I want to franchise? Almost certainly the answer is no. And it's confirmed. No one on this team is good enough to justify the franchise tag. Ticket prices. Whatever. Okay. Begin free agency. Ah, one thing we can do is try to lock some people up. Oh, no, not until, actually free, not until free agency actually starts. That's fine. Um, begin free agency, please and thank you. Okay. So we're going to find people with one year left on their deal and try to get them blocked up. Okay. Number one, I want to make sure this line stays together. Zeitler? Please come back. Two years is more than reasonable. Uh, Clemens, I would like to bring you back. He wants a fair bit of money, but it's, it's reasonable for a player of his caliber. And you want to keep your offensive line together as long as you can. Who else gets a new deal? Okay. Perry and Reed, probably not. Ogholor, how much do you want? Not very much. This is more than reasonable. For a player, even in his 30s, is still going to be one of our better receivers. So that problem is solved. Foreman. He doesn't want much money, and he's got a high ceiling. I'm happy to grab him. Dunlop. Same thing. Sign his ass up. Anyone else? Um. Ricky Shapiro has never really gotten a proper start. If he doesn't want much money and he doesn't, I'm willing to sign him to a new deal and see if he can handle it in the future. Um, he's a good pass rusher. There's always room for that. Anyone else that we want to make sure we lock up? Asani, maybe. Again. Oh, I see. He's, he's pissed off at us. We might actually want to trade him then. Uh, can I get Reynolds to come back? Yes. Um, Miles Jack. You're still a very good linebacker, if not the ideal second linebacker. I'm not going to sign you because we might even be able to do better this season. Okay. I would like very much to trade Asani. Because he's not going to re-sign with us. And he's probably not going to get the playing time he believes he deserves. The Dolphins really want him. How badly do you want him, Miami Dolphins? Would you be prepared to give me a second round pick? Probably not, but it's worth a shot. No. How about a fourth round pick? Extremely close. Fifth round pick. Yeah, that's fine. This is getting rid of a malcontent. Um, I have no issues with how that turned out. Okay, so we can only resign our own guys. Fisk and Hargrave both want to come back. But they both want fairly substantial raises, and to be frank, they're not worth them. Yeah, I'm just gonna, um, okay, Dawkins, 
No. I mean, we're mostly talking about people that I'd easily be able to replace in the draft. Anyone at a 40 is typically not worth signing unless it's a really hard position to fill. Um... I could also move Jack back outside at some point. That's something to think about. All right. So we're going to skip this stage. I'm not going to re-sign anyone. Let's look at the gray sheet. Who are the best players in this draft? It's a good draft for corners. That's about it, to be honest with you. This is a very good corner draft and a reasonably good linebacker draft. Okay, Eli Apple. All right, what do my corners look like before we start diving in to try to get better ones? Uh, Melvin Campbell is amazing. Nice fourth round pick. Denzel Ward is really good. Willis might be really good in the future. We're going to lose Grower. How much money does Apple want? He wants a ton of money. And I'll be completely honest, I don't think he's worth it. I don't think either of them are worth it. I'd rather get a cornerback later in the draft or even grab a, or in the free agent, or even grab one in the draft rather than sign one for a bunch of money right now. It's just not a smart use of limited resources. Um, you're a good pass rusher without a lot of endurance. Ah, uh, same for you. And plus you want to play in a 4-3. Molsey's a really good hitter. And if I grabbed him, I could shift Jack to the outside. Let's go ahead and offer CJ Mosley a deal. Adam Humphreys is a really good downfield receiver who doesn't drop the ball a lot. Good courage. This is another worthy upgrade. I will go ahead and offer him a deal as well. But we're going to do mostly bargain basement shopping because, to be frank, there's not a lot of top to this draft. And we're not so bad off that I need to wildly overpay cornerbacks. Let's go ahead and end this stage. Adam Humphrey signed with Philadelphia, but CJ Mosley's still thinking about our deal. Let's try to sweeten it a bit. I'm going to give him a $3 million bonus, which is $1 million for each year. That seems pretty reasonable to me. Now, we didn't get Humphreys, which is a bit of a shame, but not... It's not crippling. Uh, what would you like to come back for a bit longer watch you actually want a fair increase in salary and i'm not convinced you're worth it yet who else should we grab i like the idea of grabbing a new corner just not one of the very best ones kendall fuller fuller's more our speed i think and he doesn't want very much money I think he'd be a nice little upgrade to the team. Let's end this stage. Mosley signed. Fuller's still thinking about it. Okay. So one of the things we're going to do in white training is we're going to try to shift Jack back to the outside. And I think we'll make some other changes too. As appropriate. Ah, New England snipered me. That's my own fault. I deserve that. Chris Godwin is a decent all-around receiver who's hungry for playing time. I 
might be willing to throw him a bit of cheddar, as the kids might say. Do they say that? Probably not. Um... I think we're going to go ahead and just take a new corner. I could use an upgraded safety. Let's go ahead and upgrade it safety. He wants a bit more cash, but to be honest, he's much more likely to be worth it than some of these other guys. End stage. Okay, Adrian Amos is thinking Kansas City, but they haven't decided yet. I will offer you six million in signing bonus. I see we also got beat out on another receiver. Whatever. Good. Amos took our offer. We probably overpaid for him, but I'm willing to overpay for him just because he's fairly good. Is there anything else we want to take a stab at? I could try to bring Mel Lamont back. Or Breland Sparks. Eh, Sparks wants to be a 4-3 defensive end. I mean, Lamont... Oh, I see. He doesn't like Miles Garrett. Then I'm not going to bother signing him. Ah, uh, you'd be an interesting pick. Good endurance, smart play diagnosis, really good on special teams. Pretty good technique. I will offer him a deal. And we acquired him. We have a lot of defensive ends, though, so maybe that wasn't the smartest decision, but that's all right. Okay. So I think we're just going to go ahead and skip the remaining stages. I think we got what we wanted to from the free agency period. Okay. So now we're in pre-draft. I did it again, you guys. I fucking did it again. I'm such an idiot. I didn't interview anybody. Why am I so dumb? Um. I really wish they didn't combine certain stages. Why would you not interview people during draft prep? Why is this even a stage? Because you can't do anything to it. During it. Like, I can't pick the draft class, can I? I think it would be totally fair to let players do that then. Draft order. My pick's only 19, so it's going to be about intelligent picks more than anything else. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Average age. I bet we got one of the youngest teams in the league. We do, yeah. There's only three teams that are younger than us. That's cool. So yeah, we basically whiffed on something fairly important, which... Eh, that sucks. Uh, we still maintain, like, a decent but not great quarterbacking core. Running backs were kind of trash. Fullbacks were decent. Tight ends were kind of trash. Receivers were slowly getting better. Center's good. Guard's good. Tackle's good. Could be better. We've got the league's best kicker, though, and that's what matters. Um, let's go and prepare the draft. We fucked up. Um, such is life. I'm not even going to bother to look at players if there's not a chance we're going to get them. So I'm just going to go ahead, tell them, begin the draft, and we're going to go ahead and go on fastest. Okay. We need 
three positions quite badly. Maybe four positions. Running back, tight end, wide receiver. I would also argue we could use cornerback. Or linebacker. By strictly best player available, we should be grabbing one of these two defensive ends. But frankly, I think corner is the greater area of need. We do think his endurance is going to be an issue, though. So let's table that discussion. Let's get another really great linebacker. He's not very volatile. All of his stats look like they're off the chart. Let's grab him. Give me a Josh Hammernick. Done. Because you can always use more linebackers. We are a 3-4 after all. Resume that draft. Okay. Quarterbacks and 3-4 defensive ends. And another inside linebacker. Good endurance, good man-to-man -man in zone, good play diagnosis. I think he's a fair pick. Let's grab Colin here. Resume. Okay. I did say we needed guards, but I also said we might just move a guard inside. This is not a linebacker. This is like a weirdly placed corner. Um... I'm going to take Bernie Walton, and I think we're going to... Can he play guard? He's actually better as a guard, but he does have some talent as a tackle. His endurance isn't great, though. What about Hayes? Eh. For someone who's probably going to be... Ooh, what about Drake Edwards? No. I think we're going to go ahead and take Hayes, because I think Hayes is the best pure blocker of the group. And think about moving him inside as we need to. One of the things I'm finding frustrating is it doesn't look like there's a lot of value to be found later in the draft. Like, this basically encourages you to draft pretty much primarily defense. Because we're just not finding playmakers later in the draft. What do we got at wide out left? Again, it's mostly trash, tight end. I think we'll grab Wally McKnight. Because you think his grade's actually better than it looks. And we do need uh, more depth playmaking positions. Okay. I could just take another corner. Let's grab Buddy here. And let's grab Damon Loudon too. Why not?
I'll take Scott Duran in the sixth round. It is really weird how many corners are left this late in the draft. Yeah, base pure on grid are mostly looking at kickers and punters. We'll go ahead and grab Donnie. Uh, mm, yeah, sure. And then we'll resume the draft and finish. <clears throat> well, guys, I'll tell you what. We hit it out of the park with the first round pick again. We're going to have a sick interior. A couple of really good corners. Another good defensive end. But we didn't get what we wanted to from a lineman. And that's a bit unfortunate. Um, I'm not going to re-sign any of these chumps. I can always find a better long snapper. That's fine. Is anyone interesting left? Probably not. Um, okay. No, I want to wait till training camp to see if we're going to make anyone lose some weight. Okay, Scott Duran, I'm probably going to cut you like immediately. Oh, I wonder what I want to do. I want to see if there's any high potential players that we can grab at a good value. I mean, I really don't need more corners, but sure. Good run blocker, but can't pass block. Really good run blocker, still can't pass block. A true center would be nice to have another center. Yeah, I'm not really going to find a decent player here that I can think of. JC Blades actually wouldn't be a bad call. Another safety. All right. I'm just going to go ahead and, and just skip all the stages. We'll either get him or we won't. I don't really mind that much. We do need a long snapper. I keep forgetting that. We'll grab one here in a minute. To be sure, we will grab one in a minute. Okay. We got 59 people under contract. It's training camp. We can build a new playbook, which we desperately need to do. But we also need to make sure we send people for weight training. So... If we're going to put Brown inside as a guard, what do we think about that? We need him to bulk up, but he can't bulk up. That's unfortunate, but okay. If we moved him to left guard, how much would his stats change? Little or no change. Actually got slightly better. Done. That's one headache resolved. And it gives us a place to play Brown in the near future. Although he will need some experience at the position. But I'm cool with that. Um... I can't really improve his weight training. That's fine. No, Dunlap wants to play defensive, wants to play nose tackle.
Miles Jack is the other guy I wanted to ship. Nick Perry is holding out. You know what? I just got an all-world linebacker. Fuck you, buddy. Right the hell now. Fuck you. Um... I appreciate your talents, but I'm not going to overpay for mediocrity. That's what bad franchises do. Does anyone want Nick Perry? Someone else can deal with this shit. Can I even trade him if he's holding out? I don't see why not. Where is he? Here he is. Nobody really wants him. That's fine. He is kind of a malcontent. I'm going to go ahead and cut him. I'm just going to be flat out release him because I think we've got enough talent elsewhere on the ball. Uh, hey, Mernick, if I move you to strong inside linebacker, this should make no difference. And I would, oh, uh, you can't lose any weight. That's fine. You're pretty chunky for a, a linebacker, but I'm cool with that. So we got of our interiors real solid now. We still got CJ Mosley. He'll get some playing time, I'm sure. Jack wants to play outside. Let's shift him outside. Weak side, maybe. He actually got slightly better. Let's actually have him bulk up during training. We'll find homes for the other linebackers. This is a good group of corners. We're better at safety now. With adding Amos, Adrian Amos. Let's get ourselves a new long snapper since we don't have one. I want the best long snapper in NFL history. I guess I'll settle for Louis Edwards. Submit offer. Okay. Okay. So, the next step in this process is to build our new playbook. Okay. We and my friends are going to nuke this entire playbook. Okay. I want more pass plays than general. I want to make sure wide receivers get targeted the most... Followed by tight ends. Slot a little bit. Running back de-emphasize. Okay. Pass distance. Let's try to make sure we've got enough good of the... Enough good medium pass. Medium and short range pass plays. Okay. All the way to the right. This is one of my tricks, by the way. Uh, go ahead and use fullback. Multiple tight ends are okay. And even some trips. This is one of the ways we're going to help out Baker. If we give him more time by draw, letting him drop back, I think we'll look a little bit better. A couple Q QB designed runs. And let's stack up pass protection a bit more. So here we go. 
brand new play action pass brand new playbook focusing on the spread this will hopefully screw with the other team we have enough running plays that's fine let's go ahead and begin training camp Okay, preseason time. Let's go ahead and recommend. How does, okay, Brown is currently a 34. How does Betonio look? I'm still going to run Betonio. Actually, in the preseason, let's go ahead and run Brown. Let's see what he can accomplish, right? We don't know what he might be able to manage. Uh, we've got good mixes of player personnel. I like it. Anyone a little tired? Nope, we're good. Defensive personnel. Set us up, yo. Mosey's going to get real pissy real fast with us. Because he, I think he expected to play more. And now he's not going to. Which, you know, fuck him. So, yeah. We got an offensive game plan. Oh, uh, this looks actually quite reasonable. Let's try to match these so that you go equally with these two. Bit normal. Can we please not throw quite so much to the damn fullback and the damn halfback? Just seriously. Everything else there looks good. Notice how much more shotgun we've got and more pistol. It's packed pretty much all of our passing plays are from shotgun or pistol. Which is completely and utterly fine with me. This is our attempt to work with the offense that we have and our quarterback's limitations. Uh, let's make a new defensive game plan. This looks good. Confirm. All right. We do have to decide who rides the pine. Okay. Right off the bat, Scott Duran, you suck. You've got a bit of speed, and that's pretty much all you can offer us. I'm going to release him right now. Not even going to worry about him. Um, Austin, you're going to sit. I don't need five tight ends. Uh, Farrell and McKnight. Uh, these receivers are fine. Offensive line is fine. Go ahead and sit Stoffers. Um, I've still got to make eight more people inactive. Okay. Offensive, defensive line, that's pretty easy. Got to play all the linebackers. We don't really have a choice there. We do have a shit ton of corners and a bunch of uh, safeties. Blades can sit for sure. Sit four corners? That's not a terrible idea. Rossian, sit. Wilhelm, sit. Crescio, sit. How many are we on now? Got to make one more person inactive. We still have a ton of corners. Wills, I think, can have 
some time off. Ah, we might need to rebuild the defensive personnel. Yep, that is what I expected. Offensive personnel, yeah, there's a few slots we can refill. Okay, simulate week, simulate week. Who is to, oh, Dunlop, right, 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 right. Uh, he'll go ahead and get some time off. Lester will be taken off the bench. Defensive personnel. Rebuild. Okay, we're a couple of weeks in. Let's take a look and see how people look scouting-wise now. We don't look quite as brilliant, but Donnie's actually almost at full strength. For a seventh round pick, that's borderline mad. Let's go ahead and sort by corners. We'll let Buddy go ahead and sit. Okay, I don't know how many games we won, and frankly, I don't care. So, yeah. Um, let's go ahead and make the roster cuts, because we won't have many to make. We're carrying four running backs, which is probably a waste of time. I don't think I'm going to bother trying to keep Fernando Edwards. Okay, there's the relievers. Or relievers. Um, receivers. Yeah, Petonio keeps slipping. I think this is going to be his last year with the Browns. Luke, I think we just have to accept you as a bust at this point. It's a real tragedy. You're one of you are a, a decent first round pick, but you just never really got going. And I can't cut you because you're hurt. Well, maybe we'll just cut you later. Okay. Jabril Peppers. I believe your time with the Browns is finished. I love you, man, but you just can't make this team anymore. Let's look by future estimate, because it'll tell us who's actually the least good. I just drafted you. I don't really want to cut you if I don't have to. Same. Just drafted you. Don't really want to cut you yet. I can't really cut Doc. Jordan Reed we can go ahead and release. I've got enough other possible tight ends that we can make that work. Do we have 56 or 58? 56. I only got to get rid of three more players. Um, Todd Gurley? He pretty much has no useful talents whatsoever anymore. We're going to get some lost cap room, but I genuinely don't care. 
Um, Everett? Eh, this might be it for Everett. Actually, he got six sacks last year. Despite not playing in very much time, I'd like to give him a chance to earn more playing time. We'll get Austin going again. Okay, we have how many tight ends? We still have four. We don't need four. But I'm going to give us some time to work out who the fourth, well, what the last tight end should be. How many offensive linemen do we have? We have exactly seven, one of whom is not dressed. So we can't do much with that. And I can't cut Dunlap, even if I want to. <laughs> I think we just frankly go ahead and cut Colin Crescio and just accept the fact that as a rookie pick, he wasn't going to make the team. And then I think Harvey Wilhelm, actually. Yeah. Done. Got our 53. Um, so next episode, we're going to go ahead and start things up. I am really curious to see how this season turns out. A full season... ...of Ogholor should make a huge difference. We've arguably got at least some talent in the running game. Hey, Baker Mayfield got slightly better. He got one point better in read defense, you guys. Um, our offensive line remains strong, and we're getting good amounts of turnover. In a good way. So that the line that we have is going to be young and good instead of getting old and less good. Um, I'm really digging these young corners. When will Melvin Campbell be back? About three weeks. That's fine. Because um, he's really... <clears throat> Campbell is really talented. really talented and with a lot of good shutdown corners the rest of our life becomes that much easier we upgraded its safety yeah and we got another stud linebacker Wait, you're a strong inside linebacker that wants to... Whatever. Uh, to be honest, the difference between strong and, and weak inside linebacker doesn't matter a lot. I could pull Miles Jack back inside. <clears throat> doesn't get along super good with Miles Jackson or Miles Garrett, but I've, I'll be frank, Miles Garrett's probably not got much longer in this league. But we're going to see what happens. Um, I am a little concerned about our defensive line scenario. We've got some talented defensive linemen, but I'm not convinced the best ones are getting the most playing time. Like, I don't know why Garrett's getting playing time over. Oh, that's why. Because Lytle at this point is basically a highly specialized, specialized pass rusher. That's fair. Dunlop is probably gone as soon as I can cut him. Until next time, though, this is a bit of Indian. Thank you for watching.
and I bid you good day.